hi so today we are going to demonstrate upgrade of on tap and uh, right now we are running version 9.9.1 and we are going to upgrade to 9.13.1 so ideally there are two method of upgrade one is direct upgrade where we can move directly from 9.1 to 9.13.1 which we are going to opt and I am just going to share how we can do using web interface and there's a, another option to use a uh, multi-stage upgrade in which you can do the upgrades in stages you can have the couple of stages so both of them has its own plus and minus so the benefit of having the direct upgrade is that it is time saving we need not to invest a lot of time while doing the upgrade and downside is if this upgrade goes back then we have to revert back to the old version and we don't have that version so ideally as per the industry best practice we should take a caution and we should go ahead with the multi-stage upgrade and in multi-stage upgrade what we do we upgrade in stages like from 9.1 to uh, 9.10.1 then from 9.10.1 to 9.10.11 and likewise so if in anything goes wrong with this particular upgrade and we have some interruptions we can revert back to the one step ahead and this is two mechanisms what we can use for the upgrade before you go ahead and perform the upgrade there are some of the prerequisites which need to be validated and those are like compatibilities as an example this particular website hwu.netapp.com you can log in and ensure that your product is compatible as an example in here if i select a series and i want to see the compatibility of a20 with the four nodes we can see ported version and from here we can sh see the results which are compatible so let's take 9.13.1 and show the results So in here we can see all that report so this is how we can check the compatibility of the hardware with the software and we have to ensure that our hardware is compatible with the on tap version which has been suggested for the upgrade and then we can perform the upgrade just to uh, initiate the non disruptor upgrade what I am going to do I am just going to generate the IOPS using IOMeter so in here what I am doing I am generating a IOPS on uh, IceKZ Learn and the TFS shear so I am just going to save the result here Now we will see the IOPS will get generated on the NetApp. I will let it run for the few minutes and then we will perform the upgrade. Now we can notice that the IOPS is getting generated. So what we will do, we will start the upgrade and we will demonstrate that it is non-disruptive and there should should not be a, any kind of glitch in the IOPS when we are doing the upgrade so we'll go in here in the clusters click on overview from here click on more options update now we have to add the image so we can add the image from the server or from the local client. Local client means it is 
on your system then you can attach the image and start doing the upgrade in our example we are going to use server from server so it could be like any server on which you have hosted and make sure that respective firewall ports are open server can be ftp server it can be http server or https server so once we add the image it will upload the image to the on tap manage so it can be ftp or http as i have mentioned earlier so we, we in our case we are uploading using http so let it run for a few minutes we can see in here the process of upgrade cluster one download has been completed in both of them in here we can see that uh, image has been uploaded we have lighthouse 9.13 image so now i'll click update so it will start being uh, doing validation so now it is validating the update that the code the on tap code which we are trying to upload to this are valid or supported or not so we can see the status and these are the warnings an example cluster is serving a nfs service if the nfs mount is used there is a possibility of frequently nfs timeout and a race condition that can lead to the data corruption during the upgrade so these are the warnings we can ignore this warning and proceed with the upgrade and if there is something some action which you believe you have to take prior to the upgrade you can take the risk upgrade and uh, since i'm doing a lab environment so i'm just going to click a uh, click upgrade with the warning and i'm just going to ignore all these warnings so finally the upgrade has begun the image which we have up uploaded start uploading so here it shows 1 hour 42 minutes estimate time and lapse is only 2 minutes so it's, i believe it it might take a lot of time so i'm let it run for the couple of minutes in here we can see the download has been completed on both the cluster and failover from uh, uh, cluster one is going to uh, going in progress so what it happens all the services will be done by the one uh, only one node while the failover is in process
so finally the upgrade has been completed so now i'll log into my system manager on tap system manager and in here we can see the nodes all of them has completed successfully if we go on dashboard now instead of 9.9.1 .9 it is 9.13.1 this is the procedure what we use for upgrading before we uh, close this video i just want to highlight very important point regarding the, the non disruptive upgrade and just to show you that apps are still going on there is no glitch so whenever we perform a upgrade and we have there's a situation we have to revert back revert back is not as non disruptive as the upgrade so there is a possibility we might have to face a disruption because on tap requires a reboot when we revert back to the old version so it's very important to plan your upgrade before doing the upgrade so here are the re reverts if i have upgraded from 9.9.1 to 9.13.1 and i have skipped all these intermediate say i haven't performed the multi stage if i would have done the multi stage and there is a problem then i have to revert back to the i there is a possibility to revert back to the earlier version 9.12.1 so make sure when you do the upgrade it you should take care of uh, all the possibilities and to the better planning thank you